metronome My thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me Oh, oh, just let me Oh, that clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me Oh, oh, just let me Oh, that clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me Oh Hey guys, what's up? My name is Demon, Dennis Generator, and this is my 2017 Duke 390. As you guys can see here, I have done a fair bit of modding to this. Uh, well, mostly just aesthetics. And uh, I did all of this by myself, except for this wrap, which was done by professionals, but I did design it though. I'm just trying to get promotion for my business and the crew I write for, my esports team, the game we made, yeah, and my business partner's business, and my studio. And also, this headlight, it's a wrap, it's a film. It, I just did it for the looks to match the rim and the crash cage, but uh, it has a very good benefit too because this headlight is LED. It put out really wide light and uh, sometimes on Indian roads it's quite hard to see whether the road has you know bad tarmac or some potholes but after this upgrade I will definitely call it as an upgrade <coughs> because now the light is more of a yellow tint and as everybody can tell you yellow light has better visibility so one of the first mods I did was make this panel black uh, because there was just too much weight there and uh, now it, it looks and now it looks uh, like yeah it, it should be black also then uh, I removed the stalk tail section now it's really clean and tidy hence tail tidy and I painted the tail light it's not very beautiful but yeah and and then I removed the stock mirrors and I installed these. These are really good. I mean, it's not as good as the stock one, but it does look good on the bike. It gives uh, gives the bike a low aggressive stance. And uh, and the mod I did was well, I don't know if you can call this a mod. Install this bit. It comes with the charging port. A lot of guys uh, have already seen this, but but it's rubbish. I drained the battery in one day and I had to do a push start to my bike. Anyways, oh, also I forgot to mention the tank pad, which uh, I installed yesterday. It's it's good, it's grippy. It really hold on to you when you are trying for a stop or anything. Also, <laughs> that is a hand cut Krapovic logo which I spray painted after masking the exhaust it's not perfect but yeah looks good if you have any questions oh forgot the masterpiece this baby it was a black fork before now it's goldy and uh, it's it's not painted trust me it's not painted it's wrap see hmm, what else also, I painted the front rim red and the rear rim green. I am going to paint the frame red too, pretty soon. It's just a lot of work, so I have to find time to do that. But yeah, another mod I did was um, this bit. I painted it red, not painted actually. I cut little pieces of uh, red vinyl stickers and applied it there. And if you look close, it's not perfect either, but from distance, it gives the bike a more red look. And uh, yeah, I'm not only really half sold on that, maybe I will remove it or do something else, but for the time being, it looks good. Uh, it looks, it gives a red bike look when it's coming at you, like that, <laughs> the red and green thing, which I have on my helmet and boots, so that works. And. Uh, this is a mod I wanted everybody to do, like paint the inside of the disc black so that the uh, place where the pad hits, 
it will look larger. The 390 does have a huge disc, so yeah, it's it's really better. Uh, it's really noticeable on the rear rear disc. There gives a clean look. And uh, and yeah, I've been riding this bike really hard for uh, three months now. Did did about six thousand kilometers. Let's let's check that. No, actually, did about 5,000 km. Uh, well, half of it was on the rear wheel, so that didn't count. <laughs> and when I said I got the uh, rims painted, I did that by myself. One rim a day. It was difficult. Also, this carbon fiber, it's... Uh, I'm a sucker for carbon fiber. I'm waiting for my carbon fiber helmet now. <laughs> yeah, so I guess it will, you know complement each other and uh, things I would like get him to change on the next version the tail it's not high enough see right now the bike is on the paddock stand so it's kind of okay but usually it's not that high uh, so it lacks the total aggressive look but yeah moms and girlfriends like that and uh, another thing I want the KTM to change is the ABS system. Uh, me and my friend, we both have the same issue of the bike pulling to the left while doing rolling stoppies. And it's very annoying and dangerous. My buddy crashed last day. It was a small crash, but uh, his uh, footrest broke. Oh, funny thing, these footrests are identical. I, I guess so because you can he uh, broke this one on the other side and replaced it with that one so that he could ride home and it was perfect another thing I want KTM to do is do something with the with the chain because when it's tight it's good and when it start getting a little sag it makes a hell lot of noise it's really annoying I mean it's not impossible they can fix it they are smart people other than that I have no complaints it's a perfect machine, like the Cinemorph in the Alien franchise. It's a killer. But yeah, don't get yourself killed. So always ride safe and responsibly, guys. This is me, Demon. That's Lily. And you all have a nice day.